Peggy 18. I am Abnathan, advisor to emperors for well over 100 years. I most recently served as the Grand Chancellor and the Imperial Battle Mage for Varan Aquilaros. Well, Abnathan is, um, he's a, an old wizard. He's political, he's manipulative, he can be charming and ruthless. He has a definite sense of humour, but it's, it's more or less uh, the kind of humour where he's basically deriding and sort of uh, ridiculing others. He, has, uh, he seems to have a very high standard in terms of performance and people are, you know, other characters are woefully fall short, it seems, and he's, done, and he's, not, uh, he's not shy about letting you know how he feels. But hugely intelligent, uh, very much in control. He's all the things that the actor voicing him is not, <laughs> basically. Try not to let the carnivorous plants consume you. Getting eaten by mostly stationary creatures doesn't help one's reputation. Or so I've heard. I approach this like the way I'd approach any character I play. You know, you, you, you look at the text, you get all the clues from the text, all the contradictions, all, you know, you look at the, the linguistic style of the character. You, you know, is, is this a character that uses a lot of uh, alliteration or, or not? Is, it a character, is, it, is this a character that likes the sound of their own voice, for instance? And, and I think Abnathan definitely does like the sound of his own voice. I mean, I think he... You know, and he uses language in a very interesting and sort of uh, passive-aggressive way. I mean, I'm looking at a line right now. He says, given your relative unimportance. Now, there's something really interesting about that structure. I mean, he could have just said, shut up, you're not important. But he's, you know, given your relative unimportance, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's good writing. Gather the dusk mushrooms and head for Degaro Dro's camp. As soon as I take care of the shadow that's been following me, I'll meet you there. So all the lines that I've enjoyed have always been the ones where he's being slightly kind of sarcastic. When he's kind of, he's kind of praising someone and, he's, and he basically says, your technique seems adequate if a bit unrefined. And there's something wonderfully camp about that. Ah, the distinctive smell of Daedric sorcery. It's as atrocious as it is pervasive. He likes language. You know, and he's sort of, uh, he's not afraid to use it. You know, it's, it's, it, it's always very satisfying to, to voice characters who are kind of a little self-aware because it gives you a clue as to how to play it, you know. I assume my qualifications meet with your approval. But I, I like him. He's got a kind of, um, it, it's very classical in a way. It kind of, uh, I can imagine him being a character in like a Shakespeare play. There's a sort of, uh, there's a kind of elegance to him and a, and a danger as well. I'd like to know what a dusk mushroom looks like now. Like this right here. <laughs> <laughs>